You're wondering where Mr. Backup is, aren't you? Figured where he is? Where are you? No need to dance around the issue. You're fed up with my clumsy efforts, aren't you? This is boring. Mind if I sleep? With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. Look at that young maiden wielding a giant lance. How adorable. It's an essay that speaks to uncommon and challenging battle scenarios. I've been researching such things since you proposed your unique strategy. Uh, no, I, I'm nowhere near as great. Welcome to episode 7, everyone. I am in disbelief. Utter disbelief at the growth the channel has experienced. My goal for the end of Azure Moon was to get to a thousand subscribers, yet here we are on the other side of a thousand by episode seven. I'm so grateful to everyone that's joined us since the beginning of season two, and especially to everyone that's been here since that very first video in January. Professor. Oh, by the way, Bernadetta is going to join the class. Um, can I join your class? Yeah, of course you can. This is Professor Manuela. You can join my class anytime yes. you want. Thank you so much. This will be so much better. It would be, wouldn't I don't know it? Why. Anyway, I wanted to thank everyone that's been here since the beginning, everyone that's joined since. I really appreciate all of the comments I see from all of you. Every view, every subscriber that I get. And I can't believe that we've come this far already. So thank you again. Well, I hope done. you'll enjoy the ride as it continues, as we see all of these characters grow to do things that we never thought they could do. We see some of the Black Eagles coming back this season to reprise some of their roles as we see the B-team battles before we go back to the main cast. A lot of growth in the channel and in the class roster here. Here is Dark Mage Dimitri. I passed. Well Fighter done, Linhart. Soldier Dorothea. Getting that eighth Thank strength. You, professor. And a favorite from last season, Armor Knight Constance, getting I ready passed. for her paralogue. I knew I would, of course. That's a lot of stats. Here is Cavalier Balthus. What does he need? He needs some luck. Well, you can't really be that lucky if was you're on this team. I, I have a lot. <laughs> that was a breeze. Yuri gets his horse back. And now Petra at the Bridget School of Sorcery yes, yes. has standards to maintain with 10 magic. A nice round number. B team is going to... Try to get some experience before some major paralogs coming up, so we're going to challenge them a little bit more than those quest battles did. And we'll see if they can take on a regular side battle for extra money. We're going to keep them all together since I don't think they can manage to live and split up. So here we have Cyril, the Elmiron exchange student. He's going to get things started against this armor unit. Despite his magic, he can't actually kill it in one round of attacks so Catherine is going to have to back him up good job sister Catherine being overseen of course by mage Dimitri Constance is being tutored by Annette of course who pioneered this style of training your archery in heavy armor and we're going to deal some piddling damage. Expert in piddling damage is Flane, who is in Annette's sewing club. And now here we have Cavalier Yuri. That axe is never going to hit in a million years. So we're going to have to try the Steel Lance. We get the three out of four, which is lucky because we would have taken a lot of damage. Yuri also has a Paralogue coming up to prepare for. Yeah, That's exactly what that is. Balthus, let's see if you can do a little better than Yuri can. You can do exactly as well as Yuri did, so just use your pointy stick. It's standard issued equipment. Gets the crest activation, which of course does not matter at this juncture. We have Sister Shamir here to make sure nobody dies. And we have Lawrence the Fighter, who is going to help us Go find Thursis in a little bit. 
Now, Dorothea, you have a more immediate mission coming up, because the very next battle we're gonna do, we're taking you out with Ingrid. So let's see if you can get a kill. That pointy stick does you some good. Well, like what you see. Well, you can hit for zero more often now. Ignots move on up. Next wave of enemies coming in. We can handle two at a time with our entire squad. Lawrence, get things started with the bow shot. And now, with our mages, we might be able to deal some damage to one of them. Okay. Good job, Sister Catherine. Oh, Cyril, you're not quite fast enough to double this one, huh? Alright, well, things are a little more complicated now. We're just running out of space to deal our piddling little bits of damage. Yuri can actually survive an attack, so we're going to have him go in and canto away. Constance, of course you can't kill anything. Take this one down to five. We can kill it. We open up another slot for someone to attack the top unit. Ignots, punch him out. Who knew? Well, certainly not us. Punching gets you money on this squad, so go get it, Ignots. We'll heal up that four damage on Balthus. Get a level for Sister Shamir. Not what I was hoping for. Oh dear. Wow. That uh You've been training with Trilith too often. Balthus can move in, get in a bow strike, and now anyone should be able to finish this off with just a normal at attack, right? Yeah, just the Iron Lance is fine. It wasn't 100%. But we got there. Okay, we killed two units with our whole squad. Excellent. And now they're coming in from all sides. This could be an issue given our Watch rate of kills. Running. We'll reorganize ourselves a little bit, have Constance absorb the attack. She is not quite the solid wall that Mercedes is. Okay, we might have a problem. We've got to use some gambits to stop some of these from charging in. We might be able to kill the armor unit. What can we do here? Shamir has a group flames she can use. It's only 65. She's only being supported by Cyril here. All right, we got it. We might be in business. Now, Lawrence, you can provide some key support, and you can actually put out damage, which distinguishes you from the rest of our crew at the moment. Constance can also provide some gambit support. Annette, coming in with exactly enough damage as leader of the sewing club to not get a kill. It's perfect. Wait, is this the effort that shall compensate? Did she actually get a level that didn't totally suck? Dorothea coming in with exactly one damage with her pointy stick plucked fresh from the tree. Okay, Catherine. 0% crit, so you deal exactly 18 every time. And Balthus, what can you accomplish? You should probably just shoot here, since that armor unit will actually be resistant to physical attacks, unlike Constance at the moment. Looks like Cyril can actually put out enough damage to finish Maybe that off. Lady Rhea proud. Sure thing. Okay, so if we can kill this, then we should be in business. Constance can resist magic pretty well. Excellent hit from Yuri allows our strategy to continue. And now Ignatz, what do we want you to do? You can attack with the Iron Lance and then get the kill when they counterattack you, or... Your friend Ingrid can get the kill right now. That works. Now Ignatz isn't in immediate mortal danger. Maybe we couldn't resist magic quite as well as I thought. Okay, we got a wave coming from the west, and of course we have enemies all up in our business at the north. Flame can resist magic, so she can go in and get this first hit with the axe and dodge the zero damage the first time. 
following Father to Do's edict that if you can style on your opponents, you should. Looks like Lawrence can resist this Nosferatu as well. Tanks that magic as Lawrence is known for. Now, Constance can just wade into the thick of battle. We're gonna need some help to take down this knight. It's the biggest threat at the moment, since it can charge in and kill almost anyone. We have Knight Kneeler, so Yuri looks like he can take care of this with the Steel Lance. Face it. Makes it happen, excellent. Goes to level 12. That will be sure to be useful in his paralogue, unless he does that and gets magic instead of strength. All right, Balthus. Bow shot is good enough to bring that down. And now someone has to tank damage. Sister Shamir is as selfless as ever, so she's going to volunteer to take the hit. And it looks like Catherine and Constance are up at the front lines on the north. She's fine. She's absolutely fine. We know from season one that one hit point is exactly the same as full hit points. Constance has two hit points, so we're we're all in great shape here. Y you saw that Flayne could heal units. I know you all saw those green squares, but we're not going to do that. We're going to have Flayne set us up for victory, getting this onslaught off. 60% is 100% 60% of the time. Now, Yuri, you might be able to help out even more here with another Gambit. Assembly at 90%. Okay, usually 90% is more like 40% for us, so I'm glad this actually happened. Okay, Cyril, that's not gonna work. This might. Okay, we can never get the crits when we really need them. I'll keep it up. Could you try keeping something else up? I mean, accuracy's good, I guess. But I would have preferred to use Catherine for something else this turn. She's phasing in and out of existence. Oh, she phased back to the reality where strength is useful for her. It was good, wasn't it? Now, Dimitri has mastered fiendish blow, so he's going to go change his robes. Balthus is going to deal just enough damage to not kill, which is just what we are wont to do. Okay, decent counterattack from Cyril. The more impressive thing was that he didn't die from the initial attack. Ignatz getting the sick kill there on the counterattack and still being alive and not even inviting in another enemy. I'm not hurt too bad. Uh, I disagree, Cyril, but I like your energy. Getting in another eight. This one might be pretty difficult to deal with. Yuri, bring out the big guns, and don't miss this, please. Good job. Not too shabby. Oh, well, some sacrifices had to be made. Now Catherine can get in for her 14, and... Oh, looks like Dimitri is... Mid changing robes comes in to do the theme of today, which is precisely not kill our opponent. Winning's always nice. Isn't it though? If only we could do that more often. Not quite what I was after. That is what not winning feels like, Dorothea. Flame, can you actually kill something? Wouldn't it be amazing if you could? We don't want to waste that other gambit. Might as well go in with the axe, it's not going to hit you back. I'm a bit uneasy. Now, Ignatz, isn't it, doesn't it feel great just to punch people out? Huh? It worked out? Innocent people that are only here to help their friends. I feel like I've grown. You might want to reevaluate that. Lawrence, you've still got that bow, fire away. We're in a little bit of trouble here, but Balthus still has a move left, so with all this damage we're dealing, we should be able to get rid of this unit. And I don't think anyone will be in immediate mortal danger. Okay, we get a good Tempest Lance off with the pointy stick from Balthus. 
And you actually got relevant stats. It's a miracle. Well -oiled machine. Wow, lots going right for Balthus today. Which is good, because he has one of the hardest paralogs in the game coming up real soon. Constance going back down to two. It's very comfortable territory for her, very familiar. All right, now what do we do? We gotta use a gambit. It's a good thing we saved that onslaught from Flayne. Let's see if 60% is 100% this time. No. Okay then. We still have options. We still have options. We got a few slot on Catherine. We do have to win a coin flip. Oh boy. Uh still have options. We, we got another coin to flip. Yeah, we made them cry instead of us. That is the key strategy that we needed to learn. Okay, Constance, fire away. You don't need HP if you're attacking from outside the counterattack radius. Ooh, Lawrence can actually show off his punching skills. He and Lawrence are representing the boxing deer. I am still far from my best. You got a little closer. You're kind of a beast with that strength score, at least comparatively. Uh, maybe we just want to go in with a pointy stick here, given that it can't counterattack. And we dodge the zero. Now Shamir can go in, slice him up with our signature kitchen knives. And we're not actually done. We're just going to have Yuri track down this non-attacking healer and practice his axe skills. Yeah, let's uh, do that again. Good practice, Yuri. Who's next? Now that feels good. It kind of shouldn't, but I'm glad you found something you enjoy. Here we go with some of those paralogs I was talking about. It is Dorothea and Ingrid's turn, so we have the main cast back in action. Minus Happy, plus Dorothea. Ready. So we're going to split the squad up a little bit now that we won't instantly die from doing so. We have Sir Felix and Trilith the taking the top path. Now hurry up and capture that girl. And inviting out the enemies in the south, the we have the rest of the squad with Mercedes at the front. Cease. So, Trilith heard there were bandits with loot, so he's going to go and try and steal all of it. Sir Felix, being someone that will defend even the most meager and useless of his constituents, will go and make sure Trilith doesn't get himself killed. Trilith taking some hits and standing in literal lava with the promise of loot. Good dodge from Trilith. That could have been bad, given the poison strike. Take some damage from the lava. Take some damage from poison on Mercedes. Now we'll put Thoron on Ingrid to provide maximum support. And then we're going to blow some things up. I did what I had to. Signature move of our squad is to blow stuff up. And now Dorothea might even be able to get a kill here. Here we go. Tempest Lance with the Iron Lance. Good enough. Now, we have some pretty tough units here. Looks like Annette can get a double and get the kill here. That worked out up to level 16. Feeling stronger. Excellent, you really should. You're more accurate, stronger, your magic bow will be more effective when you can eventually use that. Mercy can move in for an attack here, pretty safe. She takes six. We're going to have to heal her anyway. Now, Ash, I would like to put you up to that chest, but it looks like we can't get you there. So just finish it off from here. Blown away. That was tough. 
Now, Father Dudu, of course, looks over his flock. He can't cure that poison, but he can cure the symptoms. Here is Sir Felix working on that keeping his people safe thing. Trilith, of course, is just a mad murderer in the best of times. And he's just going to charge straight forward without regard to any consequences. More enemies coming out from behind the merchant. Sir Felix gets a kill on the counterattack. He, of course, prefers to fight defensive battles as a chivalrous knight. Dudu has more healing to do. This map and the poison will ensure that he always has a task to accomplish. Ingrid, of course, has Physic, so he can get some healing from a long distance as he moves forward to continue his serial killing. It is decided. Oh, well, our only weakness. And we'll just uh, step out of the way casually there. And, of course, these enemies have not heard that our signature move is Big Explosions, which is unfortunate for them. Dimitri, let's uh, show them why they might have wanted to research us a little bit. There goes Big Boom. So, that guy is just vaporized, and the others are in a position where we might actually be able to kill them. So, Mercedes hesitates for a second, but then remembers that she has a big steel axe. Had to be done. It didn't have to be done that way, but we appreciate that it was. Annette can't get the kill by herself. I guess she's not fast enough right there. Father Dudu can move in and get this kill, though. Luck wasn't with you. The power of the Dusker Church is enough to take that one back to its creator. Ingrid can blow this one away with a smaller okay. explosion. I will get stronger still. Well, at what you're doing, that's Stay about focused. as strong as you can get with magic and speed. Stab in. Trilith really oh. needs to try and think further ahead. He got himself poisoned. Felix has to clean up the mess. And he does so with all of the ease and honor one would expect. And he'll go up and try to defend his friend. Not friend, I guess. Unintentional colleague. Good counterattack from Dudu. Nice try. Good dodge from Ingrid. It's pretty hard to dance on top of lava, so it's impressive that they can do that at all. Dorothea healing up some lava wounds. Ash can't double with Cutting Gale, can get real close with Fire, but we should just use Wind. That gives us a crit chance that of course we miss. Now Dorothea can come in and deal exactly three. That's gotta be embarrassing. Annette, let's get a little bit of damage in here, provide some linked attack value. Mercedes can get a kill with just a normal attack. No hard feelings. And what can you do, Dimitri? Oh, wow. That was more than I'm used to. Ingrid moving on up to use her fire skills. And what is this? Is that 69 damage with a critical? Your support is appreciated. She's been training with Ferdinand, who unfortunately is not in the class, to spread that to everyone else. But Ingrid is taking on the role that the legendary hero once had. 
Now, speaking of heroes, Trilith is not one, so he's just going to kill a healer over here, take the loot, and occupy the healing square. Oh, it's some antitoxin. That's convenient. Now, Sir Felix will use an Iron Lance so as to not invite so many counterattacks. And Felix is going to use that healing square before Trilith can. Gets the crest to get the kill. Father Jadu can negate most of one attack, just tank the other. And let's see if we can do that again. Yep. Okay, Sir Felix is a little worse for wear, but he's going to heal on his turn. So that's good. We have Dorothea counteracting the poison on Mercedes. Sure would be nice if she had some anti-toxin, Trilith. Yeah. Annette going in for 10. She can't sew it into her death quilt by herself, so Dorothea is going to help out with the Tempest Stick. Winning's always nice. And doesn't quite get to level 14, of course. Ash can get the kill here. The fight continues. Well, not for that guy. Proceed with caution. We're going to move Mercedes up to invite out some new enemies. Dudu is going to do some healing. Ingrid is going to heal Dudu, so we have a nice little heal chain. Now, Trilith is actually in danger at the moment. Eventually, he's going to learn that actions have consequences. Not sure when, but eventually. Mercedes is going to learn that her failure to dodge has consequences, and that she is now re-poisoned and takes poison strike damage. Here we go. We're going to move some people forward. Mercedes, go in for that 69% attack. And Lawrence got a sneaky little punch in. You might not have even seen it. Dimitri practicing his Agarthan magic. Father to do has more protecting of his flock to do. And Ingrid will begrudgingly heal Trilith. Sir Felix coming up to lead the charge. All right, people, we gotta march across this lava. Enemy is coming in for Mercedes. We get an unfavorable damage exchange, but she's in good shape. And the enemies are marching right onto the lava, following our example. Mercedes is going to get repoisoned. And now we suffer the lava effects, but we have Dorothea to counteract some of them a little. Oh, well. Looks like Dimitri learned Thunder. Never it's effective chance. enough. Gets him to level 18. Slow and steady. That's a bit too slow. Good enough for me. It really shouldn't be happy we have to talk about your standards. Ash. Go in for the power of the wind. Take it down to three. So now anyone on our squad should be able to finish this off. Did anyone remember that Annette is carrying a little kitchen knife around? I had no choice. Well, she did. Let's be careful. And now, Mercedes, what can you do? Just go in with the steel axe. We can get someone else into melee. I'm a natural. I'm glad you feel that way. Father Dudu, go in with Nosferatu at melee range, take it down to six. And now, Ingrid's going to have to finish this off. That is severe overkill. Over already? I said overkill, not over already. More archers coming in. Trilith getting the dodge. And, of course, we have this little party coming in from the north. 
We do want to go the southern direction, because if we come around from the so sure west, uh, then more enemies will spawn right on top of us. So if we come this way, we'll be able to ambush the reinforcements. Mercedes is going to simplify this process with a little gambit. Pull that archer out. Leave a little more space to get attacks in. And Trilith is going to kill the unharmed one, because he wants to do all of the gruesome work himself. Balthus, you're not taking this paralogue prep seriously. Dedu isn't really afraid of counterattacks here, so we're just going to use Nosferatu on this one. I have to suck up six damage, but it's okay. Dimitri has the range, and that one goes down. Thunder is super effective on enemies that are that weakened. Annette even can get a kill. That worked out. Sewn into the quilt. Dorothea move into the lava. It's the healthiest place to be. We spawn some more in reinforcements with an assassin at the very north. One of the general units starts moving toward us as well. So we're going to have to intercept some pretty strong units as we try to cross all of these lava tiles. We're going to let Mercedes intercept the general on the west side. Not good enough. Has it ever been to do? Someone review the footage and see if it's ever been. We're going to move Ash right out of range of the units coming in. Great dodge from Mercedes on that first attack. Are you sure? Read the room, Mercedes. Okay, looks like the lava will be doing some work for us. And some anti-work for us as it hits Ash. I don't think we can avoid this confrontation forever, so we're going to have to kill this guy. Annette, get us started. She threads the needle. And now Ash is just going to use magic and kill it. That's not really related to what Annette was doing. That's how it goes. Is this a joke? I wish it were, Ash. I wish it were. It'd be funnier. Now, uh, Dimitri, fire away with Thoron. Thunder's not super effective, but when it hits, it's pretty nasty. Mercedes is in position to intercept. Only one enemy can get through to her, which is her ideal situation. Oh, they have pass. Never mind. She's just going to have to kill the one that broke physics. And now we will get maximum value out of the lava, assuming any of them live. All right, do we have any of our gambits left? Not relevant for Annette, who is just going to fire away at the one in front, leave it at three. And now Mercedes can just keep herself planted right where she is, shove a knife into its neck. And Trilith, he's been waiting this whole battle to use his signature move of setting a bomb off. There you go, Trilith. The glory of yeah, bombs. defensive. Bombs are real defensive. Remember that, everyone. Dorothea is now capable of getting a kill. All roses have thorns. Good, you got to level 14 in the middle of your paralogue. Not quite what I was after. What were you after? You've done this for so many levels. Sir Felix will be able to end this assassin in Kanto right out, if he so desires. But he's actually going to stay in the lava, because he's willing to brave the elements for all of his friends, especially his good friend Dimitri, who's also looking out for him. It's adorable. 
And of course, Ingrid has been trading with Dimitri, learned Thunder as well. And it is really not raining here, but it doesn't matter to our accuracy. Ash is going to continue moving forward. We have another group that is going to try and come up and around this whole loop rather than going the shorter way. So we have some time to prepare for this. We're going to keep moving south away from this group. Good healing from Dorothea. Ash is going to make the rest of the reinforcements come on out. Enemies in hiding? Here? They are really getting on my last nerve. We've dealt with a lot of annoyances in this group, haven't we? Ash using the can opener on a dude that's not in a can. It's not a pretty sight to behold. We'll do some healing on Father to do. Ingrid gets to level 19. Have I improved some? You actually have. I'm glad you asked, Ingrid. We'll move on out of range of all these enemies, so they still have to chase us. These enemies will come toward us. Ash can double these, and wow. Very impressive, Ash. Petra's tutoring has really done wonders for you. Trilith doesn't quite get the kill. He didn't get the right crest activation. Tantalizingly close to level 20. Lots of HP changes to look at there. Mercedes can now come in with just the kitchen knife. We'll have quite the three course dinner to prepare after this battle. I am still far from my best. You really are, though you still have one of the higher strikes on the squad. Ash can take it to one with fire. And Annette, of course, needs a bigger quilt. Can't afford to lose. What should I do? We have a lot of people that are in trouble, Father to do, but. We need to put out some damage right now, so go in for the Nosferatu. And Trilith should be able to get the kill now. We'll have to use a Tempest Lance, which he's a little embarrassed by. Should I but Mercenary that? skills get him all the way up to level 20. We must all do our part. If your part is getting lucky, then I suppose you're doing it. Our enemies just walk right into the lava. And this one attacks Mercedes, who surprisingly lives. I'm getting much better. In that you are now minimally competent with that knife you're waving Let's around. Still have a gambit to use with Mercedes, supported by Ingrid. So Lawrence is going to watch as some Pegasi fly in, and he doesn't. All right, Ingrid, with Thoron, you can, oh, just blast some people away, but also provide a lot of Gambit support. We have more explosions that we would like to use. Annette can get in and provide some support as well. She can even double this unit by default. Level 17 for Annette. Aww, this stinks. I can smell it from here. Even above all what the charred flesh on top of the lava. Now, Dudu. This lava is getting on our nerves. Let's, Let's cool things down. A threat eliminated. Great job, Father Dudu. We get the Move Devil Axe for our devilish actions. Ash still has a couple of wins left to blow this guy away. Sir Felix, can you actually finish this off? Not quite, but you can get the double with your lance. You can take 18. That's what a real knight would do, is sacrifice their well-being. Dorothea, of all people, can take out this really tough axe unit and not get a level out of it. So they're stuck in place on the lava. They'll go down even further. 
We'll take some damage, of course, but this should be the last Let's turn the of the fight. We'll move on up. Nosferatu is just strong enough to I take out that one HP. Ready. We should be able to get a lot done in melee here with Ingrid. Just fire can kill either one in a really ridiculously overkill way. And now Annette can safely attack and finish up her quilt for the day. Ash gets the MVP. Well deserved. And now Lawrence is feeling ready to lead the squad to go find Thursis and dispose of Acheron. So we have to defend the keep here. We're going to put Mercy right out in front where she's the only one that will get attacked. Oh, you think magic can break through her armor? Silly mage. Physical attacks can do a little better, it looks like. Oh, uh, that is an unexpected amount of damage for Mercy to take. So we might be in a little bit of trouble here. There's a lot of them. Look at them all. Oh dear, coming from every direction, coming in from behind us. We have our work cut out for us. And Sylvain, you're not putting in a whole lot of work, are you? Just fire away, I guess. You're providing some support to people that can use gambits. Such as Father to do here. We have a 70% chance to take out a lot of these Let's relevant begin. units. Let's hope we land it. All right, they are now frozen in place by Father to do's steely gaze. And now we have to figure out what to do with the rest of these little unit pods. Uh, we're going to have to crack out Thunderbrand, I think, to finish these off in a reasonable amount of time. We get one of those hits in. So that's something. Alright, Ash. We need you to land this 60%, my friend. You'll need me for this. This should do it. So Sylvain is technically helping. And we get the 60. Excellent. So this group is far less dangerous. I'll go. That frees up more of our powerful units to go deal with some of the units on the west. We'll have to use a Tempest Lance from Sir Felix. But he successfully defends the Keep and Mercedes. Now, with Thunder here on Ingrid, we have to land both of these, but we will be able to just take out the Knight. Oh! Ingrid heard that I, me say she I needed two have. shots and taught me a lesson. Nicely done. It really was quite nice. Now, Trilith is free to just head into the forest, wait for someone to approach, and then kill them from the <laughs> dead of night. Annette, what can you do? Can you get rid of one of these weakened units? Yes, you can defend a lot of the people that are just standing around him. Am I making progress? I guess. Rally speed might be I'll useful. Now, Dimitri, you are defending from that Pegasus Knight that's going to come in. I don't think it can make us auto-lose quite yet, so it's fine that we're stepping out of the way. Over already. I stand ready. Get a good shot in from Dimitri. We can bring out Lawrence, who can start punching nerds, which is a combat art passed down from generations by a legendary hero. Sylvain gets a counterattack with the mini bow. Glad not a whole lot of units are attacking him. Father to do actually gets a favorable exchange in a mage battle. It's amazing. Lawrence soaking up a hit. Not doing great. Flying unit coming in, thinking it can just win by default, and it might be right. Still have a big pot of enemies over here, so we're going to have Dimitri use Flamethrower. It's a hit, and it's super effective. 
Now, Lawrence, you can get in four attacks on this archer. That should make it pretty easy to finish off. Oh, Ignatz, you participated. Now, I don't think our archers can finish this thing off on their own. So we're going to have to try and chip in a little damage. Ingrid is accurate enough to do it. And now Sylvain even should be able to make this happen. Fire away. We get the hit. And of course, Sylvain will take credit for something a woman did. Dudu can get this kill. Not very accurately, but good enough. And now we have a knight over here to try and win a jousting competition with Sir Felix. Let's see how that goes for them. Well, it looks like we clicked on the option to deal exactly 36. Which just tells you a whole lot about our thought process here. Now, Mercedes will actually be more accurate with a steel axe than her sword. Okay, we've managed to come back from that. Now, Ash can move forward since he won't be threatened by any of these the rattled continues. units. And it looks like we can press out from our defensive position. Wow. Sure. <laughs> when they're at right. 1 HP, that's when you decide to no crack out the critical hits. Ooh, have you found something nice? Go ahead and hand it over. Where did those guys come from? Thieves, do not allow them to escape. I, uh, frankly have other things to think about, Lawrence. Good dodge from Trilith there. Oh, you do not mess with Dimitri. We counterattack that Ember with Thunder. Yeah, here's some other things we gotta worry about. We, uh, dodged one, did not dodge the other. We got a good counterattack in, but we still have to kill it. So we will have to rely on a curved shot here from Annette. That is not a great hit rate for an archer. Works out good enough. All right, all of these enemies are in really bad shape. So Felix is going to try and get a dog friend to play fetch with him. And of course he murders someone in the process. It's quite a regrettable side effect. Ash is going to continue blowing things away to get up to level 18. Is this a joke? Speed isn't a joke. It's a core part of the Bridget School curriculum and you need to embrace that. Trilith going in with his standard issue pointy stick and dodging from the forest. Looks like Sylvain can actually get in position to finish things off with 97% accuracy. What's next? It works out. Now, Ingrid can use another Thunder. Bring down that final Aim remaining mage. And we have moved out from our starting position. Enemies, of course, coming in from both sides. Trilith should be able to defend that side with very little support so we can focus most of our units on the other end that pegasus knight might change that calculation a little bit the fact that mercy was able to get the counter attack is very helpful but we may have to pull back in order to deal with it do not let them through Now, Trilith can move up, use his pointy stick to just drive it through Stop. this guy's skull. And he can't hop back into his normal position, so he's going to have to hide in a different forest. Annette, I really wish you were more accurate, but 87, good enough. Now, Sylvain, where do you want to go? You don't want to put yourself in danger. And so... You remember that thief that got away on your paralog, so you're not going to let this one escape. You don't have Poison Strike, but you get to pretend you do today, Sylvain. More units pouring in. Mer 
Mercedes intercepting that Pegasus Knight. We don't get the counterattack this time. They are creating some problems. Luckily, we still have Annette ready to intercept them. She can now deal exactly enough damage to bring them down in one shot. Ugh, it really does. It gets worse every time there, Annette. Okay, we have a big bomb left, which is helpful. Uh, you really shouldn't call it a plan, Ingrid. There's a history of plans going wrong on this squad. Now then, what can Trilith accomplish? He can't get a kill because he can't double over here. But the crest activation, I guess, prevents the counterattack. So Sylvain will go in for a pathetic amount of damage. Guess I've gotten better. Y you have. Now it will be slightly less pathetic. Lawrence can come in and finish You're the job best. that Sylvain couldn't do by himself. Father Dudu going to flex his big recovery muscles with recover. Not good enough. Dudu, what is happening with your levels, my man? Now, I'm here thinking that electric attacks were super effective on flying types. I guess I have some physics to relearn. Trilith has high enough defense to just soak up these punches from the forest. And he gets a free counterattack on that unit. Just relishing this opportunity to commit as much violence as he can. Balthus incidentally getting a terrible level as he witnesses the massacre. Good counterattack from Mercedes. Now then, Annette can continue her secret quilting campaign from the middle of the forest. Can't afford to lose. No one will ever know what hit him. Now, four units left that we got to kill over here. Some of them severely damaged. We're going to try and get Ingrid to finish that to. off. It works out. She phases in and out of reality to celebrate. Ash can't kill either of them, but. Never mind. Ash, there to prove me wrong. Great work. And Ingrid agrees that I shouldn't underestimate him. Steel Axe from Mercy can get this kill if we land the 77. It works. Up to level 18 for her. More defense and res is exactly what you need as the resident tank. Okay, Sylvain, of course, can't get a kill by himself, but he can tee up Lawrence. So go win this brawling fight. One punch to the that face is enough to bring him down and take you so close to, to getting a level. But of course, not quite. Now, Trilith, you've got some defending to do. So you've got sewing needles, fire them off. As expected. So that one's down. We can keep Trilith in the forest to intercept the next enemy. Felix uses his horse slayer on this mage. I feel like you're getting all of your breakers and weaknesses mixed up there, Sir Felix. Even the drawbridge attendants want to get a piece of the action now. Acheron moving in as well. Another flyer could complicate things. We're going to have to keep Sylvain and maybe Trilith over there to intercept it. Trilith has more pointy sticking to do. You didn't give it your all. Trilith, of course, likes to accuse other people of not trying hard enough. Sylvain can get a double there and actually deal a decent amount of damage to that armor unit. Ugh. So close. So close. 
All right, Sir Felix gets the crest activation that he needed to turn so close into a kill. And he learns more about his horse. Maybe one day he will accept that the horse is his companion rather than the dog that he's been searching for this whole time. Good shot from Annette should make it possible for Sir Felix to handle things with counterattacks. Good dodge from Sylvain gets the close counters off from the forest. That Pegasus Knight is in position to try and make our lives miserable. Good counterattack from Mercy. Takes six damage and is still in fine shape. Father Dedu can come in and scoop up this kill. Had to be done. And now we are engaging Acheron. So are you? I'd appreciate it if you could just not get in my way. That is what all of the kids have been saying to Trilith since he got here. Now we might as well get some experience from attacking up here before we deliver the final blow to Acheron. Can't punch this armor unit out, unfortunately, so Lawrence is going to have to break out his axe. I thought I gave it my all. Ugh. If you did, it would be really sad. And Ignaz celebrating the small victories. Now, Felix with a Tempest Lance can finish this mission off. Just a Night Kneeler, actually. Kneel before Sir Felix. And he gets to level 20, which will be important for the Battle of Eagle and Lion next time. We'll see. Well, you're in luck, because it's Sir Felix and not Trilith. You have my thanks, Professor. Please go on ahead. I will clean up here and then report to my father. See you back at the monastery. I don't think anyone has ever said that to Trilith before. Annette manages MVP. Thanks for watching this episode of Failure Emblem. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video so that I can keep making this content. If you have any suggestions or thoughts on the future of this run or anything else about the channel, please let me know in the comments or on Twitter at at Failure Emblem. Thank you.